A while ago we took a look at what are 10 of the best stadiums in college soccer, in my opinion, and now here are 10 more that were suggested by the commenters on that video. Amazing College Soccer Stadiums Part 2 Mel Simon Stadium NJIT Highlanders We start off with a venue that looks a little unusual. That's mainly due to the fact that it's overshadowed by the neighbouring Wellness and Event Centre that was built at roughly the same time as the stadium. It looks kinda cool to be fair, almost as if it's part of the stadium itself. It basically is. As for the three other sides of the ground, well, they don't have any seating to speak of, but that's alright. Spry Stadium, Wake Forest Demon Deacons. This is certainly a more traditional venue, for several reasons. Firstly, rather than artificial turf, it has a natural grass field. And rather than moulded chairback seating, it's aluminium bench seating throughout which are obviously not quite as comfortable. It makes up for the more old-fashioned amenities with some old-fashioned charm, in the form of the vast amount of brickwork and indeed landscaping. The gardeners are working overtime here. It's looking pretty. Riggs Field, Clemson Tigers. The full title for this place is the historic Riggs Field, and for good reason. It opened way back in 1915, making it one of the oldest college stadiums in the country. Back then, it was home to the school's football team, and I mean, American football. It didn't actually become the home of soccer until 1980. The venue has kept up with the times though. That's a rather large video board by college soccer standards. Dorrance Field, North Carolina Tar Heels. This stadium is situated right beside Keenan Memorial Stadium which would have to be one of my favourite college football stadiums. Thankfully, when a new soccer stadium was to be built, the school clearly just said to the architect, just like, make a much smaller version of this stadium here, except for soccer. And that's exactly what they've done. Yet again, there is plenty of brickwork throughout the place. And when you couple that red brick with the chairback seats done up in the iconic Carolina blue, it makes for a unique look. I particularly like this elevated section over here. Ludwig Field, Maryland Terrapins. Some people might not think this ground deserves to be in the video due to the running track, but on game day, you can hardly notice it. Mainly due to the fact that three out of the four stands are positioned inside or on top of the track. Yes, that does give the stadium a bit of a temporary look, but I still think overall it looks pretty good. Especially the main stand, which is anything but temporary. Merlot Field, Portland Pilots. Portland's MLS team, the Timbers, is known for consistently attracting a large and passionate crowd. I think they've actually played at this ground several times in the past. Anyway, what I was getting to is that the same goes for the Pilots. They have some of the highest average attendances in college soccer. Design-wise, it is pretty simple, but the ground itself is pristine, and everything else just looks... clean. Klockner Stadium, Virginia Cavaliers. The Klockner has an umlaut. Not because the school has some German connection or anything. It is simply a German company that owns the naming rights. Surprisingly, they don't make clocks. That's not that surprising. This ground has a bit of everything when it comes to seating options. The main stand has chairback seats and benches, and the other three sides are bordered by grass embankments. Beautiful. Joseph J. Marone Stadium, Yukon Huskies. This one is a little confusing because you're actually looking at the previous stadium that occupied the site in these aerial shots. Although the new stadium that you see here bears the same name and the field is in the same location, so it could really be considered the same stadium to be honest. Anyway, as I alluded to earlier, I do kind of prefer a natural grass field. However, I do also like the contrast of the green turf field and the blue turf beyond the boundary. University of Iowa Soccer Complex, Iowa Hawkeyes. Iowa doesn't actually have a men's varsity soccer team, just women's. 
but that hasn't stopped them from building themselves a stadium that is the envy of their uh, binary counterparts. Much like Virginia's ground, most of the capacity is coming from lawn seating, which, which I'm always a fan of. Unlike Virginia's ground though, it doesn't really have a proper grandstand of any sort. Just this thing. I guess that's all that's required. Jeffrey Field, Penn State Nittany Lions. You've got to love a stadium name that could double as a human name. It reminds me of when a news reporter in Australia called Amy Parks reported live from Amy Park. Actually, let's look and see if we can find if there's a famous person called Jeffrey Field. Hmm, no famous person, but apparently there's a soccer stadium in Pennsylvania. Oh yes. Uh, this ground's strength is probably the fact that you get a clear view of a much more impressive stadium. Nah, no, it's a decent stadium in its own right, just not the most exciting design. So there you have it. It kind of feels weird doing a part 2 for a video that was well over a year old, but I was keen to delve into some more college soccer grounds. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, and as always, thanks for watching, have a good one.